We're going to be doing avatar encryption for VR chat to help prevent your model from being ripped. A few caveats for anything that's uploaded to VR chat is that it's not a hundred percent. No matter how good the encryption is, no matter how good you're protected, if someone's willing enough to figure out how to do something, they will do it. So this is not a hundred percent protection. The whole goal of this is to basically just to make it more difficult for someone to get your model so that they'd be more likely to be discouraged to start in the first place. With that in mind, I'm going to show you how you can encrypt your model so that even if someone were to take your model, they basically get something that's almost unusable. So what you need to do is go to the VR chat website, go to the download page, download the creator companion. Once you download it and install it, you should have something like this. It's going to guide you through getting everything that you need. Start by making a new project and we're going to pick avatar and we're going to call this one avatar encryption video. I'm going to be adding everything but VR world toolkit because we're not making a world. Let's go ahead and open this project. Right now that we have our project open, we need a couple other things. This system, we're actually using something called AvaCrypt. That's made by Ryan Goodrich. I'll put the link for this in the description. So let's go to window package manager. We're going to add from a Git URL and we're going to be adding Avacrypt from the GitHub. Perfect. Basically, we just need to get Poyomi as well, because this uses Poyomi Tune Shader. So you can just download Poyomi from Poyomi's GitHub. I'll also make sure I link that in the description as well. And when you have it, you can just click and drag it into your project just like this. You're going to get an import window. Go ahead and import everything. So now we just need to add uh, your model like you would normally. If you're looking for like a pretty decent model to purchase, I would recommend Cam's model. It starts at $15. Obviously, there's different tiers as you go up that come with more and more stuff. But if you're just looking for like a really good base model, also already has set up for face tracking in VR at the silver tier. It's actually pretty good, especially compared to what's out there right now. So we just added AvaCrypt. So you just go to add component and then you type in AvaCrypt and then you have it added. Thing that you also need to do is make sure that you're using Poyomi shaders, which we are perfect. So next we need to go into the FX layer. So you just need to make sure that your model has animator controller. You can find that just by going into getting the FX layer that's right here. Now we should be able to encrypt it. All you gotta do is just press the encrypt button and now it's encrypting the model. It might take some time. So you know that the first step is successful if your original model that you're selected is hidden and then you see a new model appear that says encrypted and uh, it looks like a disaster like this. Then that's how you know it's been successful. So next we need to upload this model to VR chat. Click on the new encrypted version that just appeared like this. Go to VR chat SDK show control panel. So next you just need to go to ooh, in the SDK window that popped up, you just go to build. So you can go ahead and build and publish for Windows. So it is now uploaded. Let's go ahead and grab this blueprint ID, copy, go back to the original model, attach a, attach the blueprint ID, and let's go ahead and write the keys. If you have the issue where your model doesn't unencrypt properly, generally I find that happens when you encrypt the model, check the model in VR chat then write the encryption keys after. So basically what you got to do first is encrypt the model, upload it to VR chat, do not launch VR chat, then write the keys. And that will lead to a better chance of success. And then you'd be like, but Fofa, how will I know if it worked? Well, one, when you click on the model in the preview, it'll look like this. So this is the encrypted mesh, just like this. So if someone were to rip this model, this is the mesh that they will get. So just to show you like a, a working example of that is, so this is, I was in um, Strongbad's um, elevator world where on one of the elevator sections, it shows everyone's mesh topology. And in this case, I forgot that was a thing. And everyone was just like, what the heck happened to you, Fofa? Cause this is what my model's mesh looks like. Looks familiar, right? And then, uh, so the, this is what my model looks like. So if you were to rip my model in VR chat, you would end up with like a scrambled mess like this. You wouldn't 
get what looks like underneath the, that mesh right there. So this is what someone will get. And once again, to reiterate, this does not make your model unrippable. It just makes it a lot more difficult for someone to be able to do anything with your model if they were to take it. Because if they were to take your model directly from, let's say the VR chat website, if they can figure out how to do that, or they're in the same instance as you, this is the mesh that they will get. So the only way for them to get the original looking model is they will also need to get the shader, get the encryption key, and then reverse engineer how the encryption key works. And then figure out how to basically decrypt it by reverse engineering the shader, Ryan's shader, essentially. So this is what the model looks like. If you successfully uploaded and encrypted your model, then this is what it's going to look like. So one of the main downsides to this method is that it's a little bit complicated, but hopefully after this video, the process is a little bit easier to understand. Secondly, if someone is not showing your model or they have shaders disabled for you, you're either going to appear as invisible, which happens to me, or you're going to appear as like that giant spike blob, which also does happen as well. But this is how you encrypt your model in VR chat to help protect your model from people who would want to steal your original work. Like I said, this doesn't prevent it from happening. It just discourages people from successfully using your model and re-uploading it. I'll also take this moment to thank all of my subs on Twitch. This was recorded on Twitch, twitch.tv slash and also my patrons on Patreon. You'll see them appear on the screen right here. And um, if you like this video or would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Bye.